Well, it is now the day after Christmas when you are seeing this. And so Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all. So speaking of the new year, it is the time to reflect on the past year and to set some goals and things we would like to do for this coming year. I do like to reflect on what the previous year looked like and try to set some goals of homemaking, spiritual life, physical life, of what I want to achieve for my next year. Goals can be a hyped up word, I get that, but I do think it's important as um, people that we just look to see what we need to improve on. There's always ways to improve. And so as a homemaker, as a mama, as a wife, I want to be thinking about that as I live my life with my family, with my kids at home, especially this week between Christmas time and New Year's. So some things I want to continue to do and improve on is my Bible reading, as you saw, and doing studies. So I'm studying Revelation with a group of gals, and it has been just amazing just to be um, intentional about what God has to say about his word and my physical health and just taking care of my family as well. It's always something to strive for. I love doing my stretches in the morning and Um, just getting that time in before the kiddos get up. But I also want to be intentional with my kids. As you see here, we're all by the tree, just doing some reading, looking through some books, and just literally having the slow life that I think many people miss out on. Taking those opportunities to sit and read books for 30 minutes to just enjoy that time with your family. And I want to be intentional with how I train my children in God's word and um, just for learning. I want my children to love learning. And that's something that I think some of us miss out on. I know I didn't always enjoy learning when I was in school. And so I really want to impress that on my kids to love learning, to have joy in learning, whatever that may be. I said I wanted to continue in training my children, whether that be with schooling, with um, teaching them to love reading, also though, housework. I show my kids helping out every once in a while, and here they're not. They're just enjoying watching, they're playing, and that is okay, but you know, they see that mom cares for the home, whether it be folding the laundry, whether it be dusting, vacuuming, um, doing dishes, there is always housework to do. And I want to prioritize my mindset for this year to just look at home work and home maintenance as a joy and not monotony. You'll see me clean my kitchen three times today. Um, I did it right after breakfast. I'm doing it right after lunch and I will do it again after the evening meal. And that's just what it is when you eat three solid meals a day in your home. You have maintenance and upkeep and cleanup. And so just keeping my mindset positive about the monotony of it all is something I will strive to do in this next year because it can get um, mundane and you feel like, why am I doing this? But there is a reason and that is to care for home and to serve our family. goal also with my blog to just use it in a way to glorify the Lord. I am shooting a um, pictures here of my um, protein granola. It will be on the blog later this week. Not yet though. It's a peanut butter protein granola and I just want to be intentional about it and strive to do the best I can get out solid post and quality and I like I said I just want to glorify the Lord with my YouTube with my blog because that is the reason I am doing this um, because I think it's important to do that in what we are doing to serve him no matter what we do and being intentional with um, 
caring for others, serving others, gifting to others. So we had um, a family who lost a teenage son in a car accident and I knew them and so I'm making a card for them. And I just want to be intentional about that, making sure that people know they are cared for and that is a, just an example of God's love to them. And so just being intentional with people because truly that's why I am here is on this earth to be intentional and show Christ's love to others if you believe that as a Christian. And so I'm making this card and it doesn't have to be homemade. It could have been store-bought, but I didn't have time to go to the store, but I had items to make a card. So I took 20 minutes just to make a little handmade card to give to this family. And then on the snacks, um, yes, I just dumped my measuring cup into my other cup. So healthy snacks, these protein bars are on my blog actually. And I love making these for my family. I make them probably once a month. They are a little bit expensive protein bar, but oh, so much better than buying store bought bars. And so prioritizing my health, eating intentionally, exercising, just caring for my body because I want to take care of what I have been given in my body and I think that's so important for us to do that way we can care for others because if we don't care for ourselves we cannot care for others well Again, meals are important in my family and it doesn't have to be extravagant. A wholesome chicken with then some roasted potatoes and broccoli in the oven later on is all that we need. It just is nourishing to our bodies. I'm not stressing over it for hours. I can enjoy now this time at our park while the weather is still nice. Although today when I'm filming this, we are getting a snowstorm or take doing this voiceover, we are getting a snowstorm. But that way food is wholesome, grown from my garden, um, just healthy, nourishing foods. That way it doesn't have to um, take so much time either. Not always am I going to be standing in the kitchen for hours preparing a meal. I love to, yes I do. but. Some days you have to just get the meat, potato, and the vegetables. the final round of the kitchen cleanup and it's just something I don't mind doing honestly because I know that I am resetting my kitchen for the next day by having it clean the night before and just getting it all tidied and then I am having my oldest help me make some chocolate cinnamon rolls because we actually will have those on Christmas so like I said you're seeing this after Christmas but it's not Christmas time yet when I am filming it so just getting my girls to be intentional with helping in the kitchen as well and making fun foods for them enjoying what we do have and just knowing that I am blessed with what I have but that it is okay to have goals for each new year to set standards of what you would like to improve on and get better on for your life for your health for your spiritual walk for your mothering your homemaking for your grandmothering for your work whatever it may be that it is good to reflect and good to set some expectations of what you would I should say goals probably goals of what you would like for the next months and years to come